I'll do no hat. You can do the hat. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you hit record? Thanks. Take Thank you, Chooch. Chooch, uh, with a quick uh, appearance. Oh, do you want to say anything, Chooch? No, bye. All right, Chooch, Chooch is leaving. She's had a long day. Yeah, that makes sense. Are you comfy? Yeah. I mean, I think I'm as comfortable as I'm going to be. Uh, I, we we should have got him the stool. Yeah. What's st- No, those are way too tall. Yeah. Oh, true. We're well, no, you because the problem is the back support. But I, I, I we, let's let's get through it. You could scoop back if you want. No, because there's something. No, you could literally scoop back. It, honestly, just angle it. We're angled here. Look. No, and just scoot straight back. It honestly kind of helps. Two minutes. The first two minutes of the pod taking. Is that good? That's not bad. I kind of like that, and then we could turn and talk to you. Yeah, it seems very open. Um, you don't look comfortable. I'm good. Okay. No. You sure? I'm committing. Hey, right. you gotta eat it. You gotta eat the mic. Especially since we're talking lower today. Yeah. Take my now. breath. There you go. Take, oh. Take my breath. I call me. Away. Nobody call me does it better, better be. Do, Do it now or never be. be. Take my breath. What song is that? Away. Nobody, Nobody does it better be. be. No. I keep thinking I you're singing this song uh, by Blondie. Call me. Call me. Yeah, we haven't even. Well, it's probably ripping that off. Yeah, you think so? Oh, oh yeah, that's what the weekend does. I mean, he doesn't rip off. I like, hate specific the weekend songs. with a passion. More than party next door, dude. Shut. I hate the, the weekend with a passion. French Look toast. At, he's so fucking shut corny. The front door. He's so fucking corny. I like blinded shut. by the lights. I hate the weekend with a passion. Why is he corny? Have you heard him speak? He's he, he there. Did you ever have you seen the show? He's musically talented though, bro. I'm not. Like, I don't I even don't, think that's all him though. I don't like the what. Week. Who do you think it is? I it's can't stand up. I can't name. Okay, I could see how they're enjoyable. I can't name a single weekend song that I'm like, I want to hear this right now. I love hardest to love. No, I you don't like R and B. Except no, I like. I liked. I loved uh, the morning. Wait, AM. Mm. The morning. Well, was why, a good okay, song. so why? Uh, uh, what kind of R and B do you like, Tyler? Or Tyler, Ty- you like Tyler. Tyler, he's not R&B. necessarily R and B. You well, like, I mean, you like uh, his R and B. You like his R and B music, he right? Makes R&B. I like. Give me, give me, give me like another R&B. artist. That, that's another R and B, like, like. Also, R and B is so loosely. De- it's just pretty. What, well, and I don't mean this, but people will say just any black guy that isn't rapping is R and B, and that's not necessarily true. Well, there's some. There's. I mean, but we don't have to have the discussion. We're yeah. not gonna, we don't have to have that's such an in-depth discussion. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have to get that deep. Just what are some artists that you like that are that are creating pop like uh, uh, R&B? Like the, okay. Do you like Brent Fires? I like Brent Fires. He's uh, just as corny. No, no, no. Brent Fires evolved. Fuck the world. No. I'm a walking he, erection. No, that's what I'm saying. He, <laughs> no, that's hold on. retarded. He, that's ev- so cool. he evolved cool. into a corny character. But AM Paradox was a great album. That was before. Okay, and, and then there's and great, and then there's he great. The weekend. He wasn't too. even a hot guy in that album, technically. But, but, but the weekend. The weekend. Diego was it House of Balloons. Everybody has bad. Oh, I like music House of Balloons here and there. And that's what I'm saying. The majority. Ooh, Bruno Mars. I fucking hate Bruno Mars. Look at Earl Sweatshirt. His, his whole. His whole <laughs> What's I forgot the line. No, talking to the moon's good. Talking, talking to the moon is good. Moon. Moon. It's not good. Liquor store blues. It's not good. Oh, the one where oh, I got some. The, the Anderson Puck, the Anderson Puck album. I that okay, album, that no, was overproduced. No, I, yeah, I okay, didn't so, like so that. I have uh, here's why smooth. here's why I didn't like the Anderson Puck album. I was a big Anderson Puck fan. I was a very big Anderson Puck fan. She's still good. Everything, Ooh. everything up until my favorite is Oxnard. Album. No, Ventura is kind of when it started to fall off. But I was a very big Anderson Puck fan, and the reason was because he was doing his own take on a style of music that, like, he was he was doing a. Uh, Modern soul with truly his own voice and his own take yeah. on it, right? Um, I think it was Oxnard that was produced by Dr. Dre, and that album was beautiful. It had the greatest features. It had the hardest hitting like Dre style drums, but with uh, but with Pox uh, like accents on it. Yeah. And then when they did when he did the album with Bruno Mars, it sounded like he stopped putting his voice on it and started just trying to replicate that style of music, like the oldies, like classics. But modernized. Like, like funk style of music. Modernized to the point where it was overproduced. And now, not only does it sound like, not only does it not sound like the oldies that they're replicating, now it doesn't even sound like Anderson Pac anymore. There's no voice to it. There's no, there's no It's tone. very shallow. It's kind of like, what, what is it's it called? Like uh, it, retail music? It's, yeah. It's like if someone was doing Chris Rock, 
just to do Chris Rock, but they weren't they weren't doing edgy bits anymore. They weren't they weren't pushing it. They were just doing the the voice to do the most mundane bits. Mm-hmm. It's like you're uh. not you're not really <laughs> doing it. You're just presenting it. It became a, a caricature of what it used to be. You know what my favorite part? And I, I'll that? stand by that. The, I was so in love with Anderson Park a- music. Anderson, Anderson, <laughs> Anderson <laughs> Park still makes good music. Was it? Was the it? Anderson the, Park were, joints just aren't the way they used to be. Were they used Silk to put Sonic? on Anderson Park? That's the group name, right? Silk, Silk Sonic. Sonic. Silk so, Sonic. My favorite part of their them as a collective uh, was uh, when I saw Donald Rawlings. He, for the first ten minutes, he played that song and just kept going, "This bitch!" And he's like, "You hear the hurt?" And it killed. He just kept saying, "This bitch!" Exactly. You, he, he's got. He's paying your rent. Well, well, you know what's also funny? The oh shit. That was my fault. Was that my fault? I don't know, but but just keep okay. going, keep going. Oh, we're good, we're good. The Sil- you know, you know what's funny about Silk Sonic? The problem with Silk Sonic. This is my only this is my only critique because I don't give a fuck that much. Okay. Th- this is my tr- critique on the writing uh, of it. Some of the punches, in terms of like the the not not necessarily jokes, but like the humor and the comedy and the in the in the in the music were like literally just like Hoodville. Yeah. Hoodville, Hoodville memes well, or something. That's what's popular right now. That's why Brent Fias is popular. It's because it's like it's taking back the like the toxic man of like, oh, she thinks I'm gonna stay the or she thinks she could stay the night and not but make it, me but breakfast. It, well, 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 Brent Fias is not trying to be funny. He's trying to be. He, he, he's he, trying to be the character. He's trying to be but, actually. But real. he doesn't know that people like it because it's funny. I don't think people like it because it's funny. It's hilarious. I mean, you might think it's funny, but I think most fans. To me, sexy red was, is funny. Sexy Red is funny. Sexy it's Red it's is hilarious funny. because he he's unaware. That's what's funny to me. He's unaware. Dude, but the, I don't no, think that's he, why people like. I think that might just be you. That, yeah, you just laugh at him. I, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that I laugh at him. But I do public. like the songs. The public listens to it and feels serious about it. I yeah. remember I used to talk to this girl in high school who loved Brent Fias, and she was like, "It was when when Fuck the World came out, right?" And like she would scream the words to the songs, and it's like, okay, chill out, Emily. Like you, you really like this song right now? And there was one I can't remember. She was like, she was like, or she would scream. She was like, still on the east side, smoking with my OGs. It's like, girl, you in East Lake? It was embarrassing, man. <laughs> you in East Lake smoking with, <laughs> with your parents, bitch? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna bleep that name. Yeah. Oh, it was actually her name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, why would you do that? <laughs> you do that to yourself. It's funny because her name really is like the punchline. No, no, yeah, it is. It is a girl named Emily. Speaking of Stop a, a girl, we're not going to say any names. Oh yeah, yeah <laughs> we're not going to say any names. But uh, so recently we were. Uh, so can, we, can we talk about? Well, the, let's just the call trip? her something else, like Smemily. Smemily. Okay, let's call her Smemily. So, uh, uh, Pablo has a current. Um, we we did like fifteen minutes of a. Uh, a pretty harmful bit here so i had to cut it out i wasn't going to acknowledge it but it definitely looks like we were trying to hide something if i if i didn't say anything so i'm just, I'm just going to say it it was bad it was a bad bit it's gone next you okay i'm did good it, did it go the way you wanted it to <laughs> <laughs> i th- you went way longer than i thought it was gonna go okay. <laughs> it went like, like two or three two or three minutes longer i thought it was gonna be honestly like 10 seconds <laughs> <laughs> I, I legit I was like what and then we we're gonna move on to the next thing. I didn't think it was gonna be a chapter <laughs> in the in the episode know, when did I'm you just, pick when did you pick Nico Leone as the guy uh, we were laughing five minutes before you we, showed up we were, <laughs> you, we were laughing because we were like you know what would be funny is if you go over there so do I have to bleep his name no okay it's funny <laughs> uh, it, it, it would be just funny if like uh, you went over there and it's like who? what's the worst it could go from you moving yeah, over yeah, it's yeah. like then she starts fucking somebody and then she starts fucking Nico Leon <laughs> Nico Leon you come funny. home you go home over the door Ni- Nico Leon <laughs> you know Nico Leon doesn't know <laughs> doesn't know anything about my my Nico Leon bit no well, uh, we, he knows that we say his name funny we say it funny all the time in front of him <laughs> <laughs> we go Nico Leon <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and what does he do? What does he do? He doesn't even does know, does know the orange. He just, he just goes like, "That's my name, man." <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "What's up?" That's my, that's my name. That's my name. <laughs> yep, that's me. He doesn't even acknowledge because, and it won't just Dude, be one, time, one of us saying. One it. time he came up to me, he was like, "Hey, do you know this person?" And I was like, "Yeah, I went to elementary school with them." He goes, "Yeah, I thought you knew them. I work with them at Jersey Mike's." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he works at Jersey Mike's. <laughs> I thought he worked at fucking uh, Domino's. <laughs> 
No, How it's many Jersey jobs Mike's. does he have? I don't know. Well, if you work at Domino's, you also <laughs> work at Jersey Mike's. Does Nico still work at the ACC? Yeah. One of the top guys. I think he's a server. <laughs> okay. Hmm. He's doing pretty well. Good for him. He's, oh, shit. <laughs> he's in that trance. He's in that place. What do you mean? <laughs> no. He, um, what was I going to say? Uh... I feel like I feel like. Uh, well, then can we, we? Can we? But have you been telling people? No, 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 no. We're joking. We're joking. The only thing I brought up is the moving thing. Stop, stop I didn't. People. I didn't tell. People. We just uh, now it's on the pod. Well, they don't know the context of the moving thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's not talk about it. Just because. Um, is I'm it not, pressure? I don't want to edit these, so be careful what you guys are saying. I don't know what it's about. It's like. Um, I have this thing where if I start, if I say that I'm going to do something like prematurely, then I won't actually do it. And really, I feel like out. that's the opposite. It's like you don't back out. No, I'll, I won't. It'll be things like, "Oh, guys, I'm gonna get hired at this place," and then I just won't, won't get hired. I guess, I guess, a part of me is like, like, all right, if I fail, yeah, okay, so yeah, part of it is like a fa- like if I fail, um, oh, it's like the accountability or the expectations. Yeah, it's like now I then that. I have to then I have to face everybody there. No, but listen, but listen. So yes, some of it is like I don't want to face people after failure, but uh, another part of me is. Um, I don't want to have, and this is this is the part that might uh, bother some people that like me. I don't want to have a goodbye with people. You're not gonna do that? No. With us though, right? You can yeah, have no, one no, with we're, us. No, no, no. We're, oh, okay. We're gonna, that uh, makes sense. That makes no, no, no. no. Sense. We're, we're. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you guys till, till the day of. But I'm saying like, wait. To for to to some for some people, I I'm just gonna be n- not gonna be there anymore. But I we're we're driving you out there. Maybe I mean I mean if you have if you have the time I don't know who, who uh, the thing is but um, no no I I literally want to just be gone yeah like phase day. in phase out and then and then and then like m- m- the majority you of want the people, people to be around. like man what happened to that guy yeah ma- Dude. I want majority of people to not really even talk to me about it because because then, because then the conversation I'm trying to avoid conversation it's like Irish goodbye at a party times a million because oh because everybody's gonna want to have like oh man I think. It, like they're gonna come up to you and be like, "Man, I think, I, yeah, this is gonna be good for you. I think you're ready. I really do." Like, I get what you're saying. Bubble, bubble, like they already bubble, know bubble, you. Bubble, 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 bubble. Like they already know okay, you. Type so shit. Then the I don't want to have that. We keep shit. talking about it. We keep talking about it. Well, this been, is, yeah. Okay. You know what's crazy is I, I have the difference because I've heard other comics say the same where they don't want. And then he hammers down. He hammers down. Well, I'm I'm on a different subject. Is that when I leave, um, everyone's gonna know. Yeah, why do you want everybody to know? I don't know. I I, I want to rub it in, but I'm also the type of person that's like, I have I this m- amount of money. That's funny. You guys are still here. Account. Nothing's private to me. I'm Good. pretty out in the open. I mean, I'm, I'll I'll talk about it. You, I, I've already been forced to talk about it with some people, but um, what's it called? He doesn't I, want it to be a thing. You know what's so, you know what's so funny? I announced it on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, were you were, were you were you there when I was gaslighting the shit out of Tariq? No, I'm a ma- I'm a master I'm a master manipulator, and it's funny how like so so often like I'll just forget. when you tricked him into going to the gym. No, no, no. I uh, <laughs> so so we're driving. Oh man, you might, <laughs> that, that killed with you. you. Might have not been there, but I'm 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 in the car. It was me, Tariq, and then uh, Cameron in the back. Maybe and maybe one other guy. I forget I forget who. Maybe you showed up after, and it's just Tariq and Cameron, and uh, and we're hanging out, and um and um, everybody's making fun of my car for smelling bad. And uh, and I'm like, yeah, I fucking I don't know. Um, hey Tariq, you wanna you wanna be my maid? Uh, <laughs> and he's like, what? Nah, man, I don't, I don't know. Come on, I'll pay you like I'll pay you money for like to just clean it up. I'll give you a good good rate. How much do you want? Like how much? Like an hour? How much? How much money would you need? He's like, five hundred dollars. I'm like, come on, that's crazy. Professional cleaners don't charge that much for uh-huh. whatever the fuck. And he's like. Nah, this this and that talking talking kind of shit a little bit, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, whoa, whoa, bro, I'm not, I didn't mean to offend you. I'm just like, you know, this is a, it's a real job, you know what I mean? I thought, I just, I'm, uh, you know, people clean, it's a decent job, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to, it's not like it's beneath anybody. It's, I just started like m- trying to make him feel yeah. bad about um how like he like how he's acting, talking bad, yeah, bad, bad, bad about cleaners, and I I got him to feel bad. He's like, yeah, you're right. I didn't even, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to say all that, and then. <laughs> And then I'm like, and then I'm like, yeah, man. Uh, and then I remembered, I forgot <laughs> that I had like asked him to spiel. be a maid. Mm-hmm. I forgot that I asked him to be my maid as like to be make fun of him. Like I did. Well, I was actually making the fun thing of him. with Tariq, he's a good person. Like in his, he's legit like a good person. So, so you like, can, so you can 
turn it to like a moral, moral thing. compass and he'll he'll turn yeah, yeah, that's he, funny. He probably was like, "Yeah, yeah, 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 man. You, you, you're right. They, they, like, they, you know, they, 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 they important. You know what? They important. Nah, you know what? Nah, nah. You right, Pablo. You right, Pablo. I shouldn't have done yeah, that. I'm I, sorry, I, Pablo. I ain't, I sleep, mean, I ain't no, sleeping I, like 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, now, now that you mentioned that, yeah, you, you are right. Uh huh. I, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pablo. I shouldn't have. Do you think as I people are watching this, they're like, "I wonder who they are talking about." <laughs> <laughs> I want to laugh, but I don't know who they're talking about. Uh, what, that's, what was why, that's why I was about to like cut the conversation off because like talking about this stuff is like no one knows. Yeah, nobody knows. Well, they know us. Is the dog still in here? Yeah, he's scratching his neck brace. <laughs> um, what was I going to talk about? You know what? I, uh, here's here's an off topic. Right, this start is com- the podcast. Yeah, let's let's get into it. So today, uh, well, I had a, a new pose idea. Pose, a new pose. Uh, I was trying to start it. I think it was at the like, like uh, pose for a picture for pictures for pictures because I I usually do the the this or like the peace sign. What I am doing now is what I thought was good is you know in uh Sp- Spider Man the first one with with uh, Tobey Maguire where MJ say he's saying hi to him or he thinks she's saying hi so he does the wave but yeah. then she's saying hi to people around him. I like the halfway wave. So that was gonna be my post, like, like so it, it's it's not candid, but this it one? feels, this one? yeah, yeah, it's kind of almost like, oh, you're taking a picture, but what I found out today is that's uh, what Lady Gaga does for her fans. They're called little monsters. You ever heard of that? What the? <laughs> what? You guys are shocked with that? I can't do this pose now because people are gonna equate it to Lady Gaga. Nah, dude, I knew that. That's what? Bible. You the knew? Heck? You knew that? Yeah, it's Bible. No way. That's yeah, Bible. For reals? Bible. Did you know that? I don't know anything about Lady Gaga. I, all I know is that uh, she used to have a penis. No way. <laughs> she, she used to have a penis. No. <laughs> you don't know about that? She didn't have a dick for reals? No. She, she used to have a dick. penis. Yeah. No way. You yeah, serious? Why do you think she sings so good? Because she used to have a penis. Oh, and then when like, she removed it. I don't like the direction this podcast What do you mean? Wrong. What are you talking about, bro? We That's used, kind of phobic. We used, to be, you, we used you, to be a podcast of values. Are you trying to? Are you scared of getting canceled? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not scared of that. What I'm scared of is Lady Gaga slander. I mean, it's not slander. It's Why not do you think ba- her being trans is slander? I yeah, yeah right. I, she right. a, I mean, it's like it's like. Do you think trans is slander worthy? No, 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 no. She, I just don't want to start rumors about someone that I don't know. No, no she, it's not a rumor. She, it's confirmed. She used to have a penis. You serious? Yes. Are you talking about like in a season of American Horror Story? Because that's different. No, it's just like he, she real life had a dick at one point. Um, yeah, when I was in fourth grade, I think, or something like that, or in middle school. I mean, yeah, I don't think she was around in fourth grade. When I was in middle school, she used to have a penis. <laughs> no I think way. You're pick him up. Pick him up. Here, I'll hold your mic. Just pick him up. He just wants to be carried. Well, just grab him. No, just grab him. Oh, my head's hurting. What? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my! All right, guys, we gotta make an announcement. <laughs> Pablo's only got three months. Sit. Oh, sit. There we go. Now we're heating up. Baby, you got something in your nose. <laughs> Which one's that? Who sings that one? That's Steve um, Lacey. Steve Lacey. Of yeah. the internet? Did you know that that song, he, he, it's a cover? No, no way. No, it's not. The, not. Not that one, but the, the other one, the, the the mega hit he had. What mega hit? Um, Bad Habit? Bad Habit. Uh, right, right, my tongue, tongue is a bad habit. habit. No, it's not. It's a cover. Don't me, my dear. No, it's not. Pro- yes, it is. Proof for it didn't happen. Proof for it didn't happen. I mean. Dude. Some of my favorite songs are covers, and I have no idea. Dude, you know who's making a comeback, and I've been in on this uh, since the beginning? Bridget CM Medler. Punk. Oh, yeah, CM Punk. But Bridget Medler. No, we knew that. We yeah. knew that. We knew that. But we people try that. to make me feel bad, because I bought her music. Well, did you hear that she's a time traveler? Is that real? Y- you haven't heard that theory? What's the theory? That she's a time traveler. For what, though? She was recently in a Christmas movie. Uh, I'm hearing Kanye beats. Are you hearing Kanye? Yeah, what's beats? the Kanye beats? Uh, it's someone's mic. It's not a cover. Looking it up. I don't think it's a cover. I think he he's gonna try to don't jump. jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Just put him down because yeah, he's he fade, jumped last face. time and he hurt. He hurt himself. Why? Well, you're suicidal. Okay. There you go. They be like, there you go. We got like five minutes. Okay, so 
pretty so, much. Uh, I really, I thought, what? I thought the little monsters thing was interesting. To be honest, I'm friends with the mo- uh, 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 Remember the uh, little uh, the vine of the little black uh, kid that uh, was dancing uh, to that? Uh, uh, no, he's like, I'm friends with the mo- uh, 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 and he's in like a bulls jersey. It's crazy, dude. I haven't, dude. There's a lot of viral videos I haven't seen. That's kind of the point. I hate when a, a video's uh, in the zeitgeist and I haven't seen it yet. And everyone's talking about it and you just pretend. I, I do that with songs. I, I'll pretend to know the words. I'm so good at pretending to know the words at dude, concerts. Dude, when we were at Flogna, I straight up was surprised at how little I knew words. What, to what songs? What? To pretty hell? much all of them. I, I, I mumble it. I know words. You know how Kanye, when he's doing demos, he goes, uh, and I go to uh, pussy. Uh. Like, that's yeah. what I do. Okay, who who did you know the most words for and who did you know the least words Earl, for? Earl, Tyler. That's the most. Yeah, Earl and Tyler. I was surprised at how many words I knew for Pink Panthers. Pink Panthers is a legend, man. Pink I'm, Panthers is our uh, is our prince. I'm putting that. Uh, no, you can't do I'm, that. I'm doing prince. It. I'm doing it. Prince is weird. Pink Panthers is our, like... Lady Gaga? No, not Lady Gaga. No, not now. <laughs> not after these allegations. Um, what was I going to say? Who? Oh, oh no. she's our Katy Perry. Because the first Katy Perry album. No, I had Katy Perry sucks. I know. Oh my but that God. first album. We got to stop talking about music because. He doesn't like music? Well, oh, because I say everything sucks. No, because we don't even. We don't even. I don't even know anything about music. Okay, talking to the. Oh, you know what we should talk about? You have you you want to talk about music like it's like fucking code, like it's like, like it's the way a, it should be. No, it like you talk about music like it's like um, like you're. You talk about music like you you you're in like a senior year of high school or like AP. You're you're like an AP music or something. Oh and it's like, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. even want to have that type of conversation about music. My, my how I talk about music is what what was funny, what was popular, <laughs> what made me feel a certain way, mm-hmm. what what's which, in which ones which, I talk about it the same. Which way. one was the horny the horny the horny, thing? The horny yeah, anthem? The horny. What was the horny one? Party rock anthem. The sexy sexy songs. Which one's funny? I talk music the same way. F- funniest artist? Yeah, we should we should move on from music. Katy Perry was good. At one point, for you, the time being, it was fun. You bro. didn't listen to California Girls. California Girls was sexy. The the music video was dumb, horny. If we look at your YouTube app and we l- type in California Girls on YouTube, it's not going to be liked. The music video. Mm-hmm. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is calm, dr- cool, getting, getting ready. Started. Getting hot and getting, getting heavy. heavy. Wow, 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 West, West Coast. Coast. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. He's, it's, you, it's, you he's outed a, yourself. It's a pimp in Candyland. He's a pimp in Candyland. It's hilarious. Is it like an elitist thing? <sighs> it's like uh, I know what I want. It's like a. What do you want though? Nothing. What Tyler wrong. the Creator says is okay. No, Nothing's wrong no. with Katy Perry. I'm not saying. Any, okay, <sighs> when she did that stupid ass song with the with the Migos? tiger. I'm. Oh, roar. Cause you're yeah, that's the end. That was the end of her, by the yeah. way. Yeah, she also never reached with the pinnacle of what she was. We got like three minutes, so we either restart or we wrap it up. Plastic yeah. bag. Don't restart. What's pl- oh that, plastic bag? That song was yeah. terrible too. Do you ever feel Already like a plastic baby. bag? Six feet through. The- no one seems to. Hear. I'm not saying I didn't hear those songs, but I, I'm not. Look, I heard those songs because they got play on the radio. Doo-doo-doo. I wouldn't opt to hear those songs. Ever, I wouldn't just be like, you know what I need right now? Some firework. Yeah. You wouldn't do that. Yeah, but nobody does that with pop songs. That's, That's what I'm cool. saying. They're not good. They were just around. Well, also, and Katie, you enjoyed you them any because good they were pop around. Songs? Some good pop songs. Um. Uh, Name, oh, Michael Jackson, Prince, Pink exactly. Panthers, Doja Cat. Those are, and those are songs that you could opt to listen to now. The songs that you sing are good. Are we're good because that's what was on, and those are the ones that you liked of what was on. But now that you have free choice. You're not gonna choose to go listen to it. Well, it doesn't have it doesn't have any like Katy Just Perry doesn't have any it doesn't yeah it doesn't have staying power it doesn't have it was like, good because it, it was not good. aging well that's what I'm saying it was good because it was good out of what was on at the time and you didn't have a choice of what was I on. I think TGIF holds up. I was I almost thought that was the Rebecca Black song. I've um, I've, I've heard it uh, once at a club at a William club. The you know we what don't talk about enough is San Diego clubs except for two are whack. Musically, that's because San Diego whack. in general is whack. San Diego is so small town. Um, sound, yeah, yeah, small town, but they're the people that like they come from money, but they don't want to admit it. No, San Diego is so small town in that like everyone. Oh my 
God, it's just lames. All lames. I don't, I'm sounding like that one SoundCloud rapper in high school that's like, nah, man, when I get out of San Diego, I'm going to pop. But I'm telling you. It's not a, it's not a big city. That's true. No, but like it's small town in that you can't go, especially if you're involved in a certain community, you can't go anywhere without like seeing someone that knows someone else or that you know personally. I know. Isn't that kind of wild? The, well, the people that the know talent, talent, times there's like, there, there's just like fewer talented people well, in, I'm not, in, in I'm not whatever even, genre not or even, like thing. Not even that. Like how many times are you downtown and you see someone from high school? Never. Never. Yeah. Really? I'm from North County. Maybe. You're from North County, so that's different. I've seen someone once in the last two, three years. And also, if, if I or do... Or maybe, maybe not high school, but like like you see people from... That you've known yeah, yeah, at yeah. some point. Yeah, it's, it's honestly pretty rare. You know who I see the more of is uh, from my job. I've seen two or three people in the last two or three months that are from my job. Dude, where I grew up in San Diego is the small, small, small town. Everyone, everyone. But everyone has a Ray Mysterio you're, story. you're still here. That's what I'm saying. So you're you you haven't left. I haven't. So 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 duh. What do you mean duh? Also, you're 20. Yeah, yeah. but time the, the like in five in five years you're you're gonna be a lot of the people but in that's your age I, are gonna be okay. Spread here's out how more. bad They'll it is. Here's how die. bad it is. This group of friends, they're all groups of friends because their parents went to the, the same high school together. Yeah. Yeah. That they go to that they went to. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's so crazy. So they're all groups of friends because their parents were all groups of friends because their parents were all groups of friends. But that's normal. That's norm- scary. That's, that's, that's norm- scary. No, that's normal. Yeah, that that's that's uh what's it called? That not every, not everybody's supposed sense. to move. You don't not That's horrifying to me. Not everybody's what, supposed to move. You know yeah, how, you no, but you know how scary it is when they're like, Oh, look, they're going to do that. Remember when we were in high school and then that one? It's you're forty five. But, but why are you still thinking about that? But you don't. But there. But people. People live in the same area. Yeah, they. They don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's not even a bad thing. It's, it's so scary to me. Though. Why do you? Why don't you want to be? So you. You think that every generation no, has to leave I know, somewhere? I know that. I'm not saying that they have to leave somewhere. But like, you didn't have like, and it's also probably me just being ignorant and not knowing. But like, the. <laughs> you think they don't know what's out there? I'm not saying they don't know what's out there, but like the the life experiences shouldn't be. That shouldn't be what you hold on to, to the point where they're like, oh, well, you know, they don't like, you kids aren't, what? you're not, you're not going to get along no. because I didn't get along with her mom back, you're crazy. In, back in the day. You're being crazy. I swear to God, that's no. how they are. I swear I, to God, no, that's how I'm, they are. But I'm telling you, you're being crazy by like having a, dis- I'm a crazy. distaste for that. I'm yes. crazy. What about the 45-year-old mom that's upset because the other 45-year-old mom's <laughs> daughter? That's community. Is, that's, that's not what community. community is. That's, that's what actually community is. That's not growing oh. up. Yes, it is. It's community, dude. Old bitches, old bitches are. are, are <laughs> I think it's just so funny that like you shit on uh, old bitches are and p- your neighbors in the same way. You're like they they fell off. They oh. fell off. They peaked in high school. <laughs> they ain't coming back. <laughs> you have the same takes all across the board for music, film, <laughs> your this, community. <laughs> don't get me started on Tarantino. You, you, you don't believe you don't believe in 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 the idea of a village is your problem. I do believe in the idea. No, of you a don't village. because you I think believe, you think you don't think you, you found you, one. You think you think villages should be deconstructed and 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 and, and people rebuilt? should leave away. No, you don't. No. Yeah, I, it, you, I haven't heard you say anything about rebuilding. Re, okay, my my thing is like because there's a history. Okay, very, very, a specifically, history very specifically. Very specifically. Very specifically. Have, it's hard to do this without naming names. Um, there's one kid who's uh, th- this is just a story. A kid is dating this girlfriend, his girlfriend, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. His girlfriend, his mom, dated. So it's and even the lines that I'm trying to explain right now are crazy, right? So the girlfriend had a boyfriend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Before she had this boyfriend. Well, that boyfriend's parents used to go out with the girlfriend's parents in high school. Okay. Mm-hmm. And like it, the fall off was similar, so then they start beefing after the break off because the fall off was similar. It's yeah. like, oh, of course, that family, typical family, that, that they do that, right? That is kind of so weird. then they run into each other uh-huh. at a, at a public place, and now the old boyfriend starts beefing with the new boyfriend. It's yeah. like, why are you guys that small town shit over a beef that realistically it's, is thirty it, years old? It's community. That's not community. That's what, that's, that's, that's what Romeo and Juliet is about. Yeah, and that's a. Terrible story. Two teenagers kill themselves at the end of that story. Yeah, yeah, but it's, but it's. But I think it's, it's just you're worried about that being you. I, I am. A little you, bit. Okay, it's not gonna be it. you. It's not gonna be maybe, you because you don't want that. Because they want. I don't want that. I don't want that. Hell no. You don't want. You don't want a small village. You don't want village. And I you, want a village in that like. Oh, I have. I have a good barber that I like going to. I have my butcher that I know, and I have my plumber that I like. Yeah. 
that's a village. It's like knowing people that that like when you build, building relationships with each other when and you, that when and you, that's, there's service in return. Life, but the, but you but you but your thing is, bro, that you don't. Okay, so you haven't picked a spot where you want to stay. Eventually, eventually, I haven't. I haven't picked a spot. Even, but I haven't seen enough to pick a spot. Eventually, you're gonna pick a spot where you want to stay, and life is gonna be life is gonna be longer than you think. In terms of like, it's short, but also everybody that you meet, people that you meet, they don't disappear. They they stay around, and then you just there. There's like long, even even when you don't like people, people st- like you deal with them, and that's what's happening to them because they're not leaving. And so there's like a. There's, but you never tried anything else. What do you mean tried? Anything I think else? it that's stops getting exciting fast for a lot. Not of everybody's an artist. Being an artist is an odd thing. So I'm the weird one. No, no, no. Yes. I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah. No, you actually completely are. Really? I don't think. I don't think it's weird. I think uh, it's uh, most people. Most people. Also, okay. Also, okay. I see what you're saying because that is something I've come to terms with recently. Where like I'm in class and they're like, "Yeah, man, um, I'm like we we have to interview people that are in the profession." And everyone's question is like, "So what's a good like work life balance? What does work life balance look like?" And I'm like, "What do you mean work life? But you don't have a life right now. You don't have kids. You don't have a husband. You don't have this. Mm-hmm. Why are you worried about that? Figure out what you like." Do what you like. Get into that. Then the wife, the kids comes. Why are you already concerned about like, I don't know if I could do that job because, you know, um, my kids aren't going to. It's like, dude, you don't have kids yet. Yeah. Don't worry about that yet. Do you but know what I'm saying? is that just planning for the future though? It's planning for the future, but you don't need to. I guess my philosophy is like if you're working on something, you love something, you work in the craft so that you could get to a point where that you could have the balance. Well, you make it you don't, fit. You don't, you don't go into it thinking like, like, oh, I can't do this because, man. I'm not going to be able to see my kids. It's like, you don't have kids yet. Or when I hear like the, the a junior in college getting engaged, you don't, ha- you don't have a job. What are you guys going to do after this? You guys are engaged right now That's because normal. it's fun. Yeah. You've been living in the dorms. You've been having some, sex with some each other. Children, some, children That's are very, horrifying. some children are really serious. Yeah. And, and they make it work. And, and good on them. But that is what scares me. What is, why does it scare you? It these are normal me. things. These are, wa- I, it, these are walks. Is, these are is, walks of life that are I guess, like, I guess. that it makes sense. To it, it's me realizing that, like, the walk of life I want. There, there's got to be more. Like, I, I have to try more. Yeah. In well, there's so of, many types. Of I'm lives. at the buffet and I haven't. I'm not going to eat the salad. Right. Yeah. Uh, the salad's good. It's got good fresh. Some people lettuce, are more boring. Ham. Some people you're are more tired boring. Of the dog. You're tired and, like of the, not even a bad way. And and yeah. it's it's not bad. Good for them that that's what it fulfills them. But dude. Cause, cause I'm scared of cause, it. Because here's the thing. Why do you want to go out? What do you uh, oh, besides besides the comedy and the and like the work? Um, besides the actual work, um, you want you want things around comedy to sort of happen and be entertaining, right? Like nobody well, had, nobody no, admits I, to what this. What I love, what I, what I'm and I'm think I'm gonna admit to what you're saying is I love the life that happens around comedy. That's what I, I'm saying. I love the life. I love because life Sleeping, happens. Sleeping, chilling. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not talking about the lifestyle, but like, like the experience. Like, when else? The moving parts. The the moving parts. The the you're there. Everybody's having a good time, making fun of some dumbass that just ate shit in front of. But that's small. That's small that, scale. That, that's no, no, small no, that's scale. small scale. You're, but even there's even like, big like. Um, life happens at the hours of the night that we're awake. That like doesn't happen yeah. other times and we get to see it more frequently whereas that's like not what person, it means though what, what do you mean no i i don't think people admit to this but part part of why you why you want to do what you want to do is it, it's a call uh of adventure right yeah. that's that's the, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. classic phrase it's a call of adventure and so what, I, what what that means is it's not just it's not just being good at the work and like um, killing it on stage or, um, you know, being dope at what you're, you're trying to do. It's, it's all the, all the, the trials and tribulations that come along with it, which is fucking beefing with other comics, um, fucking, um, rivalries, um, shitting on people's face, peeing, peeing in somebody's salad in the green room. Oh yeah. Um, (laughs) I forgot about that. It, Hearing, dude, I swear to God, my balls, my balls are bigger than my palm. No, they're not. Yeah, my balls are bigger than my palm. We've been, we've been, I mean, that's then, small then, scale then, stuff. All right, come to the green room. Come to the green room, and then he pulls out his balls. Every yeah, 
And people, they're bigger than the palm? People getting Huge. together. Have you seen Tim Hill's balls? Come oh. On, let's, yeah. let's not talk about Sorry. People getting together, breaking up. It's, it's beautiful. People dying. This is what life is about. It's a giant, it's it's also, a giant it's thing that's crazy, and it's, and it's fun. And, 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 and we, so we, uh, what's it called? There's like a, there's like a need for that, that most comics have, I think, or a lot of people have when they, when they go into like large-scale um, societies. Or like, uh, uh-huh. cause, cause, like stand up, well, along with a lot of art forms and like th- uh, niche, um, how do you say, like scenes, is like th- there, there's a drive for people to like just experience a lot of uh, relationships and like moving parts and stuff. Whereas like most people, bro, they their comfort level is dealing with like 50 people tops like they don't want to yeah. deal they don't want to deal with people mm-hmm. as much as much as like it's we, small scale we're addicted we're, we we literally there's like a buzz there's a buzz and energy to going out and dealing with with stand with a lot of people like that yeah. and and, th- and that happens to like people who do all sorts of different crafts like when 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 people go out and try to get into film like the, yeah they want to make a good good film but life is about relationships and they go out and they deal with actors and uh, producers, and there's a there's a there's a life to it yeah. that that attracts them as well. It's also interesting because you bring that up the the honest with themselves thing, and I, I've been trying to be honest with myself as a lady, not even just stand up, but just uh, who I am as a person. Because as I've been, uh, I don't know if you guys get like this, but as I shit on people and I uh, get like the people that I genuinely can't stand or hate or the the things I hate. I look at it and I go, there's kind of a overlapping or overlining theme. And then what I'm starting to hate and realize is I'm also a part of that. What do you mean? You get what I'm saying? You're responsible like, for like, the... Like, I'm tired of the needless uh, having a... Uh, uh, or like, you know how like, this is a common thing in stand-up. People have an idea of you yeah. and an expectation of you uh, because of whatever and they don't even know you or they they take shit personally right that has nothing to do with them right they like it's like oh he didn't say hi to me it's like i'm just having a fucking bad day yeah and you wouldn't have known that otherwise because we're not really friends you just you know you think you gain something from me right but then i do the same shit i do the exact i will have this, I think same- this is a different conversation no no, no i'm okay, this okay. is go back to this okay. it's that honesty thing because i like the the honesty thing is like the same way uh with, with comedy and it's also you know it's interesting what you're saying about those people that are doing the same shit for 30 or something else we're also doing the exact same thing just with the different, di- di- different medium different me- the, could, we have the same exact conversations same arguments same yeah. same experiences but, we we, okay. we just it's, desire it's, a higher it's, it's, level, it's, level of it's, stimulation it's, we're getting the excited yeah, it's, we're getting yeah, it's stimulation but it's also like it's kind of unknown to us that's already familiar it's like oh i I don't want fucking vo- you get vanilla every time i think you're not getting rocky road I'm, okay i think it, you're right it's i'm looking for the same thing but in a different format in a different medium. You're, you're also you also want a higher dosage that's the thing but maybe maybe it's not you're the dosage um, it is a dosage bro you you want you this is what you want because stand up is because stand up is stand up and then stand up is 20 minutes of your life tops maybe if you if, if you, i'm lucky one day it'll be an hour if you get if, if you're lucky if you're lucky it's an hour of your life and then everything around that is dealing is dealing with other comics trying to try trying to be in the green room dealing with a dealing with fucking waitresses flirting with a flirting with a bitch in the in the in the hallway um talking about what you're gonna like doing group posts with uh, other other uh, people who like, uh, like content. You, you're trying yeah. to you're trying to make it yeah content mm-hmm. trying to make it look cool it's it's like uh it, I it, guess it stimulates you consistently and like you you fucking that's what that's what you that's what I you guess, dig i guess what i want yeah i want the frequent stimulation and like how you're saying earlier is like life is about relationships and i crave a different kind of relationship than i'm finding here right than i'm than i'm finding here because these relationships are contingent on something that I don't believe in. Well, you're also brave and you believe in yourself. So you're like you, 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 you. That, that's what I'm saying. The 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 relationships here are contingent on on the surroundings here, right? Circumstances. So it's the circumstances here, and I don't necessarily believe in the the. You're right. What was that breath? No, I'm listening. Okay, I don't necessarily believe in the 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 circumstances or the the things that these relationships are placing value on. I don't place value on those same things. What do you mean? Like, like the like the beef that I was saying is thirty years old. It's like you're you're placing value on something that you cared about when you were a kid. Yeah. And like the thing you cared about when you were a kid 
came from people carry so, beef, people carry beefs like that for not, 30 okay, years though bro do you not, remember do, do, there's a there's a podcast it's, moment it's, i'm not even saying carry, carrying beef i'm not i'm not worried that they're carrying beef i'm worried that their value is still placed in 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 like old like things. they haven't moved on they haven't moved on from from the way they thought when they were little and it, it has nothing to do with the beef it could have been something that they enjoyed that they and i'm the same way i i i, I still enjoy those things but like I guess what I'm saying is their understanding of a relation of of a relationship, and I don't mean like a, like a companion or a partner. I mean like right. just their understanding of how people interact right. is still stuck in the circumstances of a small town high school. You know what I truly yeah. think, though. I I truly, truly, in my heart of hearts, think um, number one, they haven't tried, they don't believe in this stuff, but also they. Uh, and this is a reality of the honesty thing. Um, people don't want it. They want that. They they I truly know, want that's that. That's what I'm saying. I didn't. I, that scares me of wanting things to be no. the same way as they were. But that's only because you know what you want, and you're afraid you're not going to have that. I had a I had a conversation today with a a writer for the Huffington Post. He he writes. Uh, really? Because I had a I had no, a conversation on, on. with a New York Times writer. <laughs> no, no, I had a conversation he, with the he's Onion. A, he's there. He, <laughs> he's the he's the. But that's nice. He, his official title is like the weird stories correspondent or something uh-huh. like that. And I asked him, I was like, dude, what what is work looking like right now? Like, because he works remote from San Diego, even though it's a New York thing. And he was like, um, I'm very blessed in that, like, I get to work here and have a job in New York. Mm-hmm. But if there's one thing I would have told myself when I was younger, and I'm going to tell you, it's take a chance on yourself. Yeah. Go, go out. Go out. There's yeah. no reason you, you shouldn't. Um, that's how you're going to find work, and that's how you're going to meet the people that are going to help your work grow. He was like, I'm lucky to have this job, but, but my friends that are there are growing exponentially, exponentially quicker than yeah. I did. And, and I think part of it is like realizing that the, the relationships that you build with people doesn't just exist at the super, the relationships that I'm saying that people here have and are still beefing over. It's because of the superficial thing from 30 years ago that they, they didn't grow past that. Yeah. When I don't know, yeah, their I, world is small. I'm, I'm I'm ranting. I'm no, keep ranting. Going, keep going. As as your world gets gets bigger and and not even just experiencing new things, but like, but like forcing yourself to overcome different situations. And I'm not saying I've overcome anything crazy or anything hard, but force putting yourself in different situations and seeing how you react. You have you gain more empathy for the the people around you, and it allows you to have more a, yeah. a, a better relationship yeah, with you everyone should, around. Here, here's the only reason why I'm having this conversation with you. It, it, I don't know what this, the fuck this, I'm talking this, about this, either. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I, I, ca- <laughs> I, I, I vaguely understand you, but the, the, this is the reason why I, I like challenged what you're saying and um, have, um, how do you say? The, I challenged what you're saying and like try to uh, tell you something. You, you should still have some level of respect for people who. Um, you should still have respect for people who have uh, a small life and live in a small, live, live, have a smaller world uh, mentally. Yeah. I get, I do, I and, and I like to think that I do. And you, you could be right in that I don't have any respect for it at all. But where I like to think my respect goes is when they have a small life but think that it's big. Well, they just act accordingly to to, to what they know to what yeah. they know. Yeah. So it's like. They're, because here's the, here's the thing right anybody anybody who any it, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter how um big or how small somebody is like most people are always acting like they're the main character you know what i mean just cause, just just like plenty of people are pursuing shit that's like sort of like uh grandiose or can have status and and they and they think that it does and uh you know a lot of the world doesn't give a fuck Okay, so you know what, I mean? what you're saying is I should respect the level that people. Yeah, that's true. I, that that's fucked of me. Like people should be proud of like what they chose and what they're they're they doing. Be and I'm, to I'm, be not, I'm not talking about profession. They should be proud of the lifestyle that they're in, and I should be okay with. I should be. I should. There's no reason for me to hate on the lifestyle that people chose. Yeah, because n- n- not not even because it's the right thing to do, uh, which I don't care about. But because it's like it, it just logic. It's like just logically, it's reason. It's reasonable it's, to do what not, they're doing. It's not absurd. It's, it's not, not absurd. absurd to yeah. do it. It, the the absurdity. The absurdity is actually is actually the the opposite. 
it's absurd. It's absurd to do anything else but that. And um, that's the reason why it's scary to do anything else but that. But I'm scared you know I'm to do that. Yeah, because you're because you're because you think it's mediocrity. And yeah. you're and you're like so so me, me, mediocrity is is bad. But the thing is that most most mo, mo, if, if 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 you feel listen just listen listen if you feel if you feel that it's that you so you see some life some forms of life and like you're like okay that's mediocrity but that's like 98 percent of life yeah there's not most people don't get to have as much fun as you've already had you've already had and you are gonna have and you sh- and you should feel grateful for that but you should also remember like most people are stinky brained it's funny. They're stinky brained, boring people. What you have to learn is they're ants. <laughs> <laughs> they're ants. <laughs> and you're a fucking jaguar, yeah. dude. I thought you're you were saying grasshopper. You're no. What? And also, okay. people are really good at what they do. People people can be it's really okay good to be at a what plumber. they do. People, people, people are really good at what they do <laughs> in like in like small. In which like, is good. Which is you, good. You, you should. You, like, it's like uh, the. So, where you are right now is like. You're you're looking at life through like the lens of like uh who's who's like um uh, who's who's like a guy who stinks. You're like you're like um you're, Lil you're, Zan, you're kinda acting like Lil Zan and you need to get to Anthony Bourdain um, perspective. Oh, it'll bring saying? you peace. It'll so bring you peace. It'll, it's also a fun couple to hate. Things, a couple, you have to you, a couple thoughts, a couple you thoughts. should find you should find the beauty in 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 life. Like Bourdain, that this is why this is why Bourdain's a good guy, um, because because um, people like Bourdain, people like uh, who else is kind of like him. That you 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 should be able to appreciate people for being people. People, yeah. With without without looking at the world like it's a like it's something wrong. Like it's or right or wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I a couple of thoughts when I was in. Like th- throughout high school, people would ask me what my biggest fear was, and I would say the cutscenes and gr- the gra- and uh, late registration. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck you mean. Or what is maybe that? not late registration, you but mean, uh, college dropout. The college That's dropout. Your nightmare? Was, well, yeah, my it's nightmare. Like my what nightmare. the fuck is up, Kanye? <laughs> no, no, no. The the one where he's like, yeah, um, man, I got a degree in. And I, I, he's like, but I've got my degrees, yeah, 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 and yeah. and I don't have any money. The, the manager's daughter just got a promotion above me, but that's fine because yeah. I have my degree. Yeah, that yeah. used to scare the fuck out of me. That's, that's horrible. That's, that's, all, that's really all fear. Good. That's all fear. What? What do you? No, but I like I was, and I would tell people was like my number one goal in life is to not live that life. Yeah. Right. And that's all of us though. You thought that way too, probably. <laughs> me? Yeah. What do you mean? You never had the thoughts that because I know I. Have I didn't that. go to college. I got hit. No, not the college, but the specific thing of like the fear of like the the guy who's down the street does the same thing he does now that he did when he was twenty and he's. Like I've 16. I've I've been doing. I I I had I've had moments where like I was doing a thing and I was like, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing right now? This is yeah. crazy. We got like eight minutes. Unless you want to restart it again, you can restart it again. Want to restart it again? I don't care. It's up to I'm you down. guys. I don't know how you guys feel about any of this. Minutes. No, no this, this, we could just yeah, this back just half sink. was good. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah, let's saying. keep going. And then um, yeah, man. I need next. It's funny when you, I, and I'm realizing this now is like, or a realization I, a realization that I had recently was that like, like you hear people's stories like growing up, you hear stories of adults and you're like, man, their life must have been crazy or like it, it must have been cool. But then you realize like that's the story of like the one good weekend they had that year. Like they, they, they have a couple yeah. of good weekends or a couple of good memories a year or like, you, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it takes As, a lot of work to, to make a lot of good things happen. I'm not I'm not even saying that, but it's just like like people, if you're lucky, you get a few good moments weeks weekends out of the year where like cool things happen that weekend you know this is the one weekend we we took a trip to there this is the one week we got to do this trip sometimes you and take trips and it's boring yeah. exactly and people the stories suck. you hear from people are from those little moments whereas like we are so lucky that we get to have cool moments borderline nightly you know yeah well, I mean, there's some fucking. Duds. There's definitely a lot there's of duds all the time. Dog shit. There's, there's comedy there's, nights. There's definitely duds all the time, but like, and maybe I'm stupid, and maybe everyone you, thinks that they have cool you, moments you, daily at work. No, you. No, you, no, no. You know, you know, you know. Part part of the reason why stand up is so fun is because um, 
is because like y- there's usually there's usually a decent amount of people that are going out to like do their very best to get um a pop and or like get sh- the ball rolling to get that they're, they're looking when, the, the they're, weird when the, we, we go out to, to weird to get the, a fix. Those, those one those weekends that like i was talking about earlier where people get like a couple good weekends a couple yeah. good, a year they're coming to where we're at every night that one time do you get what i'm saying yeah this is their fun night out this, this is their fun night out and we're just there every night yeah we're like we're we're constantly we're constantly trying to make it fun yeah it's weird too man because you'll hear people like that that uh that thing you're saying, the the weekend getaway thing, they'll they'll well, hold that, on to that shit for years, years and years. That's what I'm saying. Years years. Well, that's it. That they only get a few moments throughout their throughout every year, and there's only so many years in their life. Mm-hmm. And so the stories that you hear are from those few moments, and you don't realize that they didn't live a life. As a kid, you don't realize like, oh, you didn't have a lifetime of that. You had a couple of moments. Like when you hear people are like, man, college was the the best. It's like you're saying that because you had a few couple weekends where you partied in college and. And that was after le- every final, and, and that was out. fun for you. But that was legit four years where you you got to party a couple of times, and those were those are the years. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's why uh, I was uh, my birthday was recently, and I remember people were asking me like, "Oh, how do you feel on the day of?" And I'm like, "Well, the weird thing is, is like, um, since what we do, what, what how people celebrate their birthday, which is like, oh, let's go out and party." That's such a that's not anything foreign to me at all. Being around your friends, laughing, uh, having a, a good little. time. Getting getting drinks, getting yeah, whatever, like or do doing that an activity. Often enough, yeah. Like we randomly went to the zoo. Does that make us degenerates? Yeah, just <laughs> to to the average, yeah. But we're not slightly. It's a different I mean, life. The same way we shouldn't look down on them, they can't look down on us. And because we're not, uh, you know, none of us are. I mean, the, the, there's plenty of like moments where, um, what's it called? You know, uh, how do you think club DJs feel about what? Like about this situation where I'm like people go out only so often and go to the club and they're they're really there because like the the a club is like where that's more common for people to go to to like have a good time and dance and like go out yeah whereas like do you know what I mean well they probably clubbing, think they're better than well everyone. clubbing is different clubbing is like a artificial mm, clubbing is like a it's 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 a lot less um by it's, chance it's it's way more um reptile brain what do you mean. I think clubbing is more reptile brain. Um, there's less I, thought. There's a. It's more of a reptile brain activity. Like, uh, and, no, and, no, and no disrespect to to people who go clubbing, but it's like there's. But you also hoes. There, there's, <laughs> there's so much less. Um, there's so much less like. Uh, you restart. What did the time say on it? Go check what the time said on it. Well, at ten fourteen is when I started. No, but some. I don't know how much time is left on the card. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Uh, clubbing is clubbing is reptile brain because people, um, people don't really have any like conversations there. There's nothing. Mm. There's nothing of substance happening as far as like the 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 sharing of ideas. It's and a game. Communication. Mm. It, you're there. You're there, and it's a game, and you 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 get drunk. And like, it's honestly the most artificial, most artificial, because you're you, intoxicated. Um, the reason why you're talking to people is is super is superficial, um, and also uh, it, well, it's it, sexual. Every, yeah, well, it's I, sexual. Don't know, I don't know if superficial, Se- superficial is the right word. Superficial. What? What is? It? Why is this superficial? I mean, it's horny. It's it's like it. I mean, I guess in a sense it's superficial, it, but it's, it's like I don't. I wouldn't say that's the the biggest. The big intention. Char- characteristic. Yeah. Well, you're not. Well, going, even, no, it's also you're not going to the club to make a best friend. But even like when you go, it's superficial in the sense of like I'm gonna wear my best clothes. You you're putting out the it's a peacock thing. Version it's, you, a yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah. it's a dance. It's a it's a yeah. It's a, it's a ritual. Mm-hmm. A, I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't say it's a mating ritual because plenty of people don't have sex uh, successfully or like make it happen. But it's sort of a ma- mating ritual. You see what I'm saying? It's courting. It's something. It's, courting. it's something. I don't know. The Ameri- Americans do it strange, I think, and it's, I think it's become a, it's become a, like an exploitative word to the point where it's like most people don't really, most people don't really have a chance. You know what I mean? It's almost like it's almost like uh, I think clubbing is like kind of like it's kind of like Tinder, where it's like literally only like a few people can actually do it. You know what I mean? Like out of the out of the two hundred people that are ever in a in a in a club that's really doing well, there's only gonna be like twenty people that are gonna have sex and like 
success, oh, okay. successful, successfully, which is really only ten couples, and it's the one that's spending the most money, and it's the one, the one that's spending the, the most money. Yeah. Super no, like most and, of the time it's not. Like, who is it? The one. It's not the one because the oh, one that's spending the people too. The, that's what I'm saying. The one that's spending the most money is usually not the most attractive guy. It's a it's a mix. People that do spend the most money do do. I mean, well, some of them are attractive the because they day, spend money. The other day. This guy, um, so th- this group of four dudes and one girl comes in to, to watch the, the open mic, right? right? I found out the girl signed up. but She's a baddie or no? Um, it was the, the IG chick that, that signed up. Oh, really? Yeah. The one that I said the <laughs> baddie? <laughs> yeah. So, um, so the four dudes are there and they're these, these like Arab dudes and heckling, being obnoxious, oh, I annoying. I those guys. They heckled me too. They Go were on. just being obnoxious and annoying. And at some point... Like everyone's going in on them and it's working because they suck and everyone knows everybody they're like, them. everyone's annoyed at them at this point. And so everybody's going in on them. And then the one dude that was heckling the most, he just stands up and goes, yeah, well, my, my wrist costs more than everybody in here. Whoa. And everybody was like, <laughs> it's Iron Man wrist. And no, everybody started laughing and he thought he murdered, but everybody was laughing because that was corny as fuck. Like, why would you say yeah. that? And I just thought like, that's how you chose to peacock right now. You're getting made fun of hard, and yeah. that's what you're like falling back on. Yeah, it was sad. Also, they ended up leaving, and the girl didn't even get to do stand up like she wanted to. It's kind of good. She though. signed up. That's what I was saying. She signed up. The girl that you tapped on the shoulder. Yeah, because I was, I was crazy. I recognized her. That is wild. There's so many, dude. You know what's crazy is once, uh, I was, uh, I wasn't hitting it off. I was killing with this. I thought they were a couple, but they were brother and sister. She was an IG model and she was on Vogue and she was friends with like a couple like big comedians. She she brought up so casually. She was like, "Yeah, I'm I'm friends with the uh, who, who um his name's Schultz." And I was like, <laughs> "Andrew Schultz?" And she goes, "Yeah." And I was like, "Who are you?" I tried to uh I was thirsty. I tried to get some followers. I was like, "Oh, you're on Instagram. You guys want to follow me?" And they're like, well, "Yeah, just follow me and I'll, and I'll let you know." <laughs> and I knew they You guys want to do like a post me on your story? Yeah, yeah, post for post. Yeah. <laughs> you want to do a shout out for shout out? Or Dude, remember low on key, Snapchat I, when you'd be like, post me on your story, I'll, I'll post you on your story. There I was a small, 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 small time where I legitimately thought I was like, if we all just like like unionized and did shout out for shout out, there's no way <laughs> we don't move up, you know? What are you talking about? I thought if we did shout out for shout out, we'd get a lot of followers. Do you remember what shout out for shout out was? Um, I mean, I th- vaguely remember You're, it. You know... It was when Snapchat. I wasn't a Snapchat guy though. I was a big Snapchat guy. I lived on Snapchat. I'm not really? a Snapchat guy. I hate my Snapchat. life was broadcast on Snapchat. I hate Snapchat. I was constantly whenever I'm bored, just take out Snapchat. What's up? What's happening? I hated those people. No. Not not like that, but like if something was happening, I'd be like, Snapchat no, I hated sucks. those. Snapchat I hated that. Sucks. That's worse. I was on Snapchat. You and, would have been the damn just, Daniel kid. I would just I would talk so much the fact shit. You're on, still on Snapchat is crazy. I I'm not on it anymore. I just use it to text like. Specific. That's people. what I'm saying. It's crazy. That's that's not on it. I don't post. Um, I used to. But you want to? Uh, yeah, you reminisce. I used to just talk so much shit on Snapchat, mm-hmm. like on my story. Just how many like, streaks do you have? One. I don't have any right now. On Snapchat, I used to post on my story, like taking shots. I'll go through them right now. One of them was like, "Some of you bitches need to get your balayage redone," and I, it was. What's a balayage? Balayage is when. Yeah, it's sad that I know that. It's a. Uh, it's like when it's like black, but like fades to blonde a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's funny. That but like, I used, to, I used to talk a lot of shit. I used to be like, like <laughs> that is funny. Some of you bitch, it's just your teacher, <laughs> your teacher that you had. I used Snapchat. to talk a lot of shit on Snapchat. I used to like, I used to have a hip hop blog and in like oh, high school, cool. and it started because I would like post my like thoughts on Snapchat, and I was like, I'm just gonna put this on the blog. It's called Fictional Relations. What was your album of the year in 20, 2017? 2016. 2016? I, it wasn't then. That's not... It was later. It was oh. like 2018. Oh. 2019 when I started writing. I, I'm going to go with... 2019. Is that... No, 2017 was Flower Boy. 2019 was Igor? Yeah. Are you saying that was my album of the year? It's either Igor or... I don't remember. I don't remember what I had said it was. <laughs> but Like Butterflies in the Trap. I uh, I think the moral of the story is... Um, just, just love thy neighbor, <laughs> love your own. Are we gonna get out of here right now? Is that what this is? Well, I think we have to because Pablo says, uh, "What's it called?" Are you going to the mic? Yeah, I am going to the mic. You still right. gonna go? Yeah, I think so. Should it's, I go? It's about no, 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 no pressure. Should we, I go? We, I'll go if we clean up in like ten minutes. Okay, let's get out of here then. Okay, guys. Um, any closing thoughts? 
Make me wet, sweat. Make me water. Oh, man, I had a fucking Make me lose my mind. Make All right. Me. You have a big mouth. <laughs> you have a little ass mouth. <laughs> no, but that was big. That was the fucking anaca- mm-hmm. uh, anaconda throat over here. Me? <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> Carlos yawned like this. <laughs> well, I had to make my mouth smaller because if I had a big mouth, <laughs> you can have a big mouth after Carlos on the big Damn. mouth. All right, I'm done. All right. Bye. Later, guys. I don't think that podcast was good. That wasn't bad. I thought it was fun. It was, uh, it, uh, what was it called? Oh, five minutes to spare. We did an hour, an hour and a half. <laughs> we did an hour.